he asked the lawyers to meet with the killer. So I was like, okay, why? They said, you can't. They told him you can't. You can't meet with the killer because he's in maximum security. And he spent two years just trying to meet with him. And I asked him, why? Why are you trying to meet with him? And he said, he said, I want to meet with him because I want to forgive him. And I want him to be in the same place with my son. Ten years ago, or more than ten years ago, I used to teach at a school in Wisconsin, an Islamic school. And I had a principal at that time, one of the best principals I've ever known, an older gentleman from Thailand. And um, after like a year or two there, he moved. And fast forward a decade later, so this was just recently, a few months ago, I was speaking in a community and lo and behold, he was living in that community and he was the principal of that school. So I basically reunited with my old principal after a decade. And he was, he's, he's older now, so he, he actually just retired this year. But what I found out when I reunited with, with, with Dr. Jitmud is that over the last, that decade of time, a few things had happened. One, his wife had gotten ill with, with cancer and passed away. May Allah have mercy on her. The other thing that I found out is that his son, he was, I think, about 21. He was delivering pizzas, and while he was delivering pizzas, a man slaughtered him, just cut his neck, just like that. And Dr. Jatmud is telling me that he gets a call at 3 o'clock in the morning saying, your son is no longer. He's, he's past tense. He's, he's passed away. He's been, he's been killed. And now, for me, I wanted to ask him, how did you cope with that? I mean, that's next level. And he told me that, you know, he was trying to process it. And he said he was just kind of pacing and saying, inna lillahi wa inna lillahi raji'oon, and trying to process the shock. But what really, really stood out to me was this. He told me that shortly after that, he asked the lawyers to meet with the killer. So I was like, okay, why? They said, you can't. They told him you can't. You can't meet with the killer because he's in maximum security. And he spent two years just trying to meet with him. And I asked him, why? Why are you trying to meet with him? And he said, he said I want to meet with him because I want to forgive him. And I want him to be in the same place with my son. This isn't a story about a prophet. This isn't a story about one of the companions. This is, these are people on Facebook. And these are real. And, and some of you may have actually, if you Google it, you can find. Because what happened is, recently, a few weeks ago, the trial happened. And he finally got to meet the killer. And it's on video, him hugging the killer and forgiving him on behalf, and some of you may have seen it, forgiving the killer on behalf of his late wife and himself. And I'm telling you that it's real. The power of a healthy heart, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given the healthy heart an ability that's amazing.